Well, hi folks, I'm just going to show you how I've made a, a trial sort of electric fence deterrent for slugs. Now, obviously, if, you, if you've seen any more of the ones on YouTube, it's a bit of a rip off from one that I saw on YouTube. So, it's the same sort of idea. So, what I've done is, using some wire, some galvanised wire, I've put a ring right around the outside of my raised bed on the inside of the wood, right round 20 metres all the way around. And then on the outside, I've done another ring. So that'll be one will be the positive charge, and the other will be the negative charge to the battery. So basically, well then what will happen is when the slug crosses that and that, it'll get an electric shock and it won't go in. And then I've attached them both to a little nine volt battery down there. But it couldn't be easier. I've just tacked them on. The ideal size, I would say, would be about 10 mil between them because then. Otherwise, a little tiny slug might be across one, get into the middle, and then lose contact with that, and then cross the other one without getting zapped. So, about 10 mils ideal. So, like I say, it's just a matter of tacking it along like so, all the way around, staple it down, and then come right round from the other side, making sure that none of the wires touch each other, none of the positives and the negatives, and then twist them together and attach them to a battery. So I'll give it a bit of a test, I'll show you with a slug and a snail, and we'll see if it works. It's onto the first one. Oh, didn't like that. It's going across. Oh, ow. Ow. <laughs> I think we'll give it another go because I'm a really silly snail. Try again. Ow. Again. No, so there you go. It does work. That'll keep any slug, snail, or anything out. It might be a bit gruesome, but it's better than treading on them or poisoning them with uh, slug pellets. It's just a deterrent. It's not a killer. It keeps them out. So there you go. It does work.